Coming up tonight on WREL, an NBC News exclusive primetime special, legendary singer Celine Dion opens up for the first time since being diagnosed with stiff person syndrome to today's Hoda Kotb. During the rare one-on-one, -on -one, Celine shared a candid look at how she is coping with the illness. Joining us live from New York with a preview of their conversation is Hoda. Hoda, great to see you and thank you so much for joining us. When you sat down with Celine, what was your sense of how she was feeling both mentally and physically going into this interview? Hi, Renee. It's so good to see you. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I flew to Vegas to sit with her because I knew she had stiff person syndrome, but I actually didn't know a whole lot about it. It's so rare. Only one in a million people get it. And then she explained it to me while she was sitting there. She said, it's as if someone is taking you by the throat and choking you and you can't speak or sing. And that has hit her when she's been on stage before. Sometimes when you see her singing and then she puts the mic out to the audience, she was doing that to give herself a break. Mm -hmm. And so she talked about what it was like dealing with stiff person syndrome and how it would affect how she walked. She had to make sure there was a chair there and a chair there and a chair there so that when she was walking, she would have something to hold on to. And she found her body failing her and her voice failing her. And she wondered, like, am I going to be able to sing again? Because she wanted to hit those notes that she's always hit. And so this is a story of kind of rebirth, someone who is coming up kind of from the ashes and trying to reinvent. Because stiff person syndrome does not go away. There's not a cure. It's progressive. But she's learning how to deal with it and to find a new lane for herself. And as she told me, she's super determined to get back on stage. But I cannot believe what she's been dealing with privately for the last four years or so. And Hoda, those symptoms that she described, so painful, is that day-to-day -day life for her? Does that go away, then come back? Is that what she's dealing with every day? Well, she's got it. You know, she takes some, uh, some, uh, like a, some medicines, and it's mm -hmm. some kind of cocktail that they've created specifically for her. But before that, she didn't know what it was, so she took one Valium, she said, before she went on stage to loosen her muscle so she could sing. Then she took two, then she took three, and she told me at one point she was taking 90 milligrams of Valium, which is enough to kill a person. Mm -hmm. But she didn't know because her body kept, you know, she needed more and more and more. Mm -hmm. So now she's on a better regimen. She has kind of trained her kids on what to do if her body starts to go into that state, which is all the muscles get super hard. And at one point, you'll see in this documentary, her she just has tears coming down. She can't speak. She can't move. She can't do anything. So until she kind of makes her way out of it. So it's a difficult illness. But this woman is determined to get back on stage and sing again. And she told me that she doesn't care if she has to crawl. She's going to get back on stage. And I have to tell you, sitting across from her, I believed her 100 percent. We know she's a strong person and certainly her resilience is as big as her voice, which we all hope to hear uh, one day again on stage. Hoda, thank you so much. To hear more of Celine's very personal interview uh, with Hoda, tune in tonight for that one hour primetime special starting at 10 right here on WREL. Hoda, thanks.